of the best parts about doing this whole series has been meeting the people who actually work here. From the youngsters who are just starting their apprenticeship to the guys that have been here most of their life. One of those is Roger Bethel. He's been here for 50 of Morgan's 100 years. Roger, sorry to Hello. disturb you. Good to see you once again. I understand you're the longest employee at the factory. At the moment, yes. At the yes. moment? You, <laughs> you expect that to change? It, it could do. Right. When did you start here? I started in December 1959. 1959? Yeah. What was it like in those days? It was a little bit bleak, to be quite honest with you. The environment of the place has totally changed now to what it was in those days. It was dark, cold. So I take it it's changed for the better? Oh, definitely. Definitely. What, what's been the biggest change that you've witnessed in your time? Well, just the environment, really. The cars have changed very little. The old type, the old style car, is basically the same as it's always been. So... Did you start in the upholstery shop? I did, yeah. So you've been here 50 years? 51 this year, yeah. So there's not much you can be told about hood making and, and the likes? No, I shouldn't think there is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would hope that. I'd rather suspect there isn't. You, you joined just after HFS had passed on. Yes. Um, so obviously you never met him, but what was the feeling in the factory like in those, those days shortly after he died? Oh. There was a good atmosphere in the place. It was, I, I think he was quite a good boss to work for because I said when I first came here, Peter had just taken over and I was actually the first one he ever interviewed for a job here when he became managing director. So, I mean, I've only really worked under Peter and Charles, so... Yeah. But the atmosphere has always been good here. Uh, if we work through the decades, um, how old were you in 59, if you don't mind me asking? 15. You were 15 when you were joined. So, so coming into the 1960s, you saw throughout the 60s, the yeah. swinging 60s, yeah. you were aged 16, 16 to 20. So yeah. That's the perfect time for the 60s, yeah. isn't it? So, <laughs> so what was going on? What was this place like in the swinging 60s? That was good. We used to have some fun here. I mean, it wasn't quite so strict as it is today. But uh, it was still great to work here. I mean, the camaraderie was great. And it was just a brilliant place to work. It was, well, it was the, the place to get in, in Morgan. If you could get in Morgan's, you were... Made for well life. Made. <laughs> yeah. So um, I seem to, because I was a kid at the time, um, the 70s was industrial strike all over the country, yeah. three-day week. Did that, uh, did that happen at Morgan? No, not industrial strikes, no. The only thing we did have was a three-day week. I can't remember when it was, no. Uh, electric strikes and things like that so we couldn't work with no power or anything so we used to just work three days while the power was on and uh, that's, it, that's how it affected us it wasn't the fact that the place was on strike am i right in saying that the morgan motor company in 100 years has never had an industrial dispute leading to a strike well, it hasn't in the last 50 years, I can guarantee that. <laughs> well, I'm reliably told it didn't in the previous 50 yes, well, either. So, yeah. so that's a credit to the, both the company and, and oh, yes. the workforce, isn't it? Well, the thing is, back in the early days, more than so now, the, the doors were always open. Peter was always there, and you could go talk to him about any problem you had. And it was probably sorted within two days. You, you've now been here 50 years. How many more years do you think you're going to keep going? That's difficult. <laughs> As long as I'm fit enough to work, I'd probably stop here, if they want me. <laughs> I can't think of one instance why they wouldn't want you, to be honest. But that, if I remember right, that always was Peter, and obviously it's Charles and everybody else's yes. um, opinion. Yes. As long as you're fit to work, you're allowed to carry on. So, right. so we're looking around about 2015. Yeah. Most people driving their Morgans will have had some part of the hood, the side screens, the upholstery probably come from your hands. Probably, yes, since 1959. That must make you feel very, very proud. It does, it does. That's the, the thing with this company. You see the end product, you see what you've done. And I think everybody's got to be proud of their work. It's, uh, it's something that goes out worldwide. And Well, Roger, on behalf of 50 years worth of Morgan customers, I'd like to thank you very much for your efforts indeed. Well, thank you. And good luck for the next five years and good luck for the future. Thank you.
All the best.